right guys good morning it's a nice comfy 60 degrees outside so it's looking like we're gonna have a nice day in terms of weather um, we're gonna see what we can get today out here on the creek again steelhead fishing we're gonna be seeing if we can get anything the water's really low and it's very clear looking so we're probably gonna have to work hard for them but the good part with it being low is I can hit a lot of these holes a lot more effectively with the inline spinners now. With it being lower, I don't have to let it sink so much and get snagged up so often. Um, I brought the center pin too. I got some of those jigs that I tied up and showed you guys that was tie hand tying. So we're gonna give those a, a try to see if we can get some, either some fresh steelhead or some dropbacks. With it not having a blowout recently, there'll probably be a bunch of dropbacks in here, but we'll see what we can get. Stay tuned. Oh yeah. Woo! That right there. Woo! Ooh, this is this is a hot fish. This is a hot fish. This is a hot fish. That bite right there is why I love hardware. Right there. Absolutely annihilated it. That was awesome. That's a good that's a good one too. He's going ape shit. My drag is not that loose at all. So the fact that he's just ripping this like it's nothing. Took the white. So one thing you guys will notice too when I use inlines is I keep my rod off to the side. I don't lift the rod. That's when I, I notice I lose a lot of fish. This is when I lift it. Yeah. Good fish. Very nice fish. Uh, and he popped it out. I keep trying to get to show you guys how they're eating the spinners, but as soon as I get rid of that tension off, I'm gonna take some out. That's a nice hen. It's a very nice hen. Let her sit in that water for a bit. It's a very good fish. Very, very good fish. And keep her in the water. So, um, yeah. The white again. This is quickly becoming my favorite in line. And I never thought I would ever have anyone beat out blue fox in terms of inlines and they're just absolutely great she's probably all of four or five pounds that's just a nice hen all right i'm gonna give you guys a quick look at her again i'm gonna let her chill out again i'm gonna take the chest cam off i'm gonna set it up somewhere where i can actually show you lift her up hopefully without her thrashing and flailing about but um and i'm gonna take some pictures over be right back all right guys so like i said got my pictures she took that white arctic spinner Let's see if i can find where i got her in the chops because i know i got her in the mouth i 
Yep, right there. On the side of the mouth, top of the roof of the mouth. That's a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous steelhead. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. She's actually missing the top of her uh, dorsal fin. If you look, it's almost like it got melted or something in there. Whoop. All right, let me get her back in the water. Let her sit for a little bit. Make sure she's good to go back. And I'll show you the release. One more look at her. There she goes. There you go, Mama. That's the right way. That fish right there, how he just sm she smoked that, was exactly why I love fishing for steelhead with inline spinners. Just absolutely pummeled it. Um, that fish definitely would not have been possible if this water was higher. That's for sure, because I got in some current pretty quick. Um, I'm guessing she probably stirred up the hole because I had her on there for a good little bit. So I'm going to throw it in there and we're going to see if we can get another one, but I doubt it. Most of these holes only hold one or two, and that one is probably the only one in there, guessing how big she was. But we'll give it another try and see what we get.